Paul Merton and his wife, Suki Webster, are right here. They've just finished touring the country. We've Have you never met them? We've never before? met oh, no. we, we got chatting just when they giving us a coffee, so yes. we thought we might go on to lunch Excellent. afterwards. Well, it could yeah. be the start of something. Let's hope could so. It could, it could be the start or, of something. Or the end. <laughs> But you are working together <laughs> in obs my obsession. Yes, who was so Suki of... wrote the play. Yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. And you're looking, thinking, who could I get? Who could I get? Yes. And he's there. I, I he's didn't right think. In front of Third you. choice. I didn't think. <laughs> Third choice. Third choice. Hooray, hooray, hooray. But there he was. Yeah, I know. But I had asked two other people who, one wasn't going to Edinburgh, one right. had said yes to three other plays already. Ah. And I was only doing it in a hundred seater. And so when we're actually working, I separate our marriage from the works. So I, I think Paul Merton would never do a play at 100-seater. Mm. I cannot ask Paul Merton. No. And he'd read it mm. and really liked it. And I say, I don't know who to ask Paul. <laughs> I, I... So I'm saying, so you can't think of anybody that can play this downbeat, depressed, <laughs> rubbish stand-up comic? He said, no. And Third choice. <laughs> there you are. He had to beg me. I made an audition. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So it's going to be on Radio 4? Yes, yes, it is. Could it be on the telly? Is it something that you think you'd like to develop for TV? Because it, it could work. Because he's done a bit work. of telly. Isn't I it? know. Mm. This one has. <laughs> I, I would love it, but yeah. who, you know, I don't want to jinx it. We will see. Just Let's see how it goes. See I suppose at the moment it's a, it's a radio piece. I mean, it started as yeah. a theatre piece yeah, and, and it's on tomorrow at 6.30 Thursday. Um, so it, as it, it, it's what it is at the moment. If it turns into something else, that's up for Suki to, mm. to, to, to talk about. But certainly, I, I, I enjoy it for what it is because I don't often do radio where you have a script in your hand. You know, and it's it's great to be able to. I mean, I do a lot of things which are ad lib, but it's, yeah. when you've got a script, you're not going to learn it. You've got the lines there, and it's it, and it's very well written. So it's a joy to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. And just being an actor in something is 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 great because you have no responsibility for the script or anything else, and you just have to hope that somebody will recognise your talent and cast you. Third choice. Third <laughs> choice. <laughs> and then it worked. Did you two see the debate last night? No. Oh, guys, it was so bad. It was God, the worst thing us. ever. Was it, it was appalling. You would think. Look at that abundance of material. Mm. But there isn't really, is there? Well, I think some of it's we, beyond parody. There is. There are some. You know, it's very rare for two stories not to go away. And with yeah. Trump and Brexit, obviously, sure. won't go away. And now uh, we've got the leadership thing. That's part of the Brexit thing. So I mean, we've just been on tour, and we've, 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 so we've, we've come on a great time to publicise the tour because it's now over. Yeah. <laughs> 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 go and see us. But I would, I would get a big cheer at the top of the show, the improvised show, by saying there, there are two topics we're not going to improvise on tonight. Yes. Tonight is a Brexit-free oh, zone. Yeah. Jeez. Huge cheers. Yeah. And then when Trump was over as well, I say, and also Donald Trump, we're not mentioning him, huge cheers. Yeah, people so are sick of it. What yes. we mm -hmm. tend to do, uh, live stuff, and I think obviously things like Light in the same like the thing the play that Suki's written, is an antidote to that stuff. Yeah, I get you. So you kind of, I, it reminds me when the Falkland War kicked off, to, you know, back in the early 80s, I was living in the bed set, I, I could see just grim reportage every mm. day, so I decided to have nothing to do with it. Mm. And then it was easy, just turned off the telly, didn't buy a newspaper, and I didn't, and I didn't experience the Falklands yeah. War. Or as a as a person at home, yeah. and um, that's kind of what I'm like now. Really, I'm just sort of yeah. switching it all off and just want to sort of be in the world of fun and imagination. You know what? You know? I, I agree with you. We've kind of done that too on this mm. show. We've kind of thought, you know, people are so scunnered yeah. yeah. the whole thing. Let's just forget it and, and let's just talk about. COVID. And you watch the news and they go, oh, oh a new story. No, yeah. it's been the same story for two, three no, years. No, it has, it has, it has. And mind you, Boris Johnson has been on Have I Got News For You. Yes, he has. <laughs> yeah, when Boris was first on the show, uh, Ian had a real go at him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he didn't enjoy it at all. Boris's friends and family said, oh, you were very good. It was I, 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 I. And so then he came back on. Mm. But the first time, he, we, we did the... And actually, the people, oh, no, of, you do. people you... of London did vote for him. It wasn't us. That's true. <laughs> Are you going to do more panto? And what did you think of your <laughs> husband in, as the widow twanky? Was it quite frightening to see him as a girl? Uh, you know, I didn't mind Widow Twanky. All right. day, his drag queen persona, even when he wasn't on camera, he was still flouncing about. <laughs> this is the power costume and the power <laughs> makeup. Is. But Suki was rather fed up with it after about eight it, hours. Yeah, in the end, I had to go, Paul, stop it, please. Oh, no, you're stop cool. it now, is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you two are great. You've got to work together more. More and more really? and more. We've Absolutely. Worked together a lot. Oh, yeah, I know, but that's good. It but is it's two good. separate entities. It's that's great. what I like about you. You, yeah. know, you know, you you obviously do your own thing, yeah. and both mm. of you do. Mm. And my obsession, it's on Radio 4 tomorrow, mm. half yes. past six. Mm. But you can listen to it whenever you like. Mm. That magic thing. Mm. That magic box. Yeah, exactly. The iPlayer, whatever it's called. It's yeah, magic. Sort of, yeah, it's mag the magic box. It's the magic yeah. thing. Yes. Yes. Thank you, both. It's third choice. Great to see you. Thank you. Third choice. Thank you. But the best choice in the end. Well, I don't know. Just third. That's all I know. Thank you.